So I was reinstalling Windows on my computer and I realized that unless you want to install a codec pack like CCCP or KCP or KLI codec pack, it is pretty hard to get good hardware accelerated video playback. And talking about those codec packs, most of them are either too old or too blotted. So I thought I'll make a small video on how to set up Media Player Classic Home Cinema for good video playback with proper hardware acceleration and upscaling. This will be a slow step by step video so I divided it into two parts. The first part will be downloading and setting up of the softwares and the second part will be setting up of a basic settings in MadVR. For that we'll need four files. The Media Player Classic Home Cinema, Lab Filters, X-Ray Subfilter and MadVR. So I will download them. I'll put all the links in the video description. Okay. Now that we have all our four files downloaded, we'll first have to uninstall any KCP codec pack or Kalite codec pack or uh, CCCP or any other codec pack or something you have installed in your computer. You must completely remove them otherwise they will interfere with this installation. And once we have done that, we will start the installation. Now this system is a cleanly formatted system so it doesn't have any codec pack. So I'll just begin with the installation. First we will install the Media Player Classic Home Cinema. just go through the default installation and no need to launch it yet after that we will install the lab filters still the same default installation if you don't want to use the 32-bit then you can untick these 32-bit parts and just keep the 64-bit versions which is what I'll do. We'll do the configuration later so we'll just click finish. Now that we have installed lab filters we'll go to install the MadVR. For that we'll do it inside the Media Player Classic directory. So we'll right click on the, the Media Player Home Cinema icon and click open file location. It will open the directory and here we'll create a folder called MadVR. and we'll extract the files from the madfear zip into this directory once you've done that you can close the zip and now you need to install the madfear for that you need to ins execute this installation. Now since we are installing in the program files folder, we need to execute this as an administrator. And installation is successful. Okay. Now that we are done installing MadFear, we will finally install XY subfilter. For that, just extract the XY subfilter into any folder. And right click on install XY subfilter, click run as administrator. It will copy the DLL file to the proper directory and done. Okay, now that we have all four parts installed, it's time for the configuration. Okay, 
will delete this as you will not need them anymore open media player and yes I doubt there will be any updates but anyway now we'll press O on our keyboard to open the options and we will start configuring first we'll go with the formats for Windows 10 this will not work since Windows 10 needs a file association from the settings menu still for other versions of Windows we'll just click all videos here the first is select all then click all videos and then we'll click apply and ok for windows 10 to set media player classic home cinema as the default program we'll need to go to settings apps and default apps so we'll do that now we'll go to settings and apps and at default apps we'll choose a default from here media player classic home cinema and it will be now our default video player Now that we are done setting up the default video player, it's time to go for the main configuration. First we'll go to the output and we'll select Mad Fear from here. Audio render will keep system default. Subtitle render will change to XY South Winter. Otherwise, everything else should stay default click apply now that we have done selecting our renderer now it is time to install the filters or select the filters for that we will first need to disable the internal filters the internal filters of mpchc is also lab filters but they are the old version as you can see from here so we will need to disable them and switch to the external ones that we downloaded earlier for that we'll need to untick everything from here okay that looks clean and we'll hit apply now that we have disabled our internal filters it is time to use the external filters so we'll need to add them we'll need to drop down the external filters and then click on add filters here and now we'll select our filters which is the lab audio decoder the lab splitter and the lab video decoder also the subtitle renderer the xy sub filter Now we'll put the splitter on top, then video de audio decoder, video decoder, then audio decoder, then at the bottom we'll use the subtitles feature. And for every one of them we'll click the prefer button right here. Okay. Now we need to configure the splitters and the filters basically you can just keep everything at default then you need to select the video decoder here we'll set up our, our hardware acceleration I usually use the TXV to copy back and we'll select the further resolution to want to use the hardware acceleration we'll use for the standard resolution high definition and ultra high resolution that is 4k and also the codex for hardware decoding that's H264, HEVC, VC9, DVD, MPEG2, and VP9. Now, these codecs need to be supported by your graphics card, otherwise, they won't be accelerated by your hardware accelerator or the graphics card. You can select the hardware accelerator you want to use if you have multiple graphics card and you want to select a specific one, you can select it from here, but I'll just leave it at auto. Same for the 
the interlacing also for multi trading if you have a multi core cpu and you want to keep some of the cores free you can select the number of cores you want it to use here or just keep it in auto like with me this is the setting for interlaced video stream that need to do interlace you can select your feed field order here and the interlacing mode I usually auto works for me and then the output video formats if you are outputting on a TV make sure that your RGB conversion is proper mostly sometimes the TV doesn't have full RGB range so you need to select the 16 to 235 RGB range but for most PC monitors and modern TVs you need to select 0 to 255 and other than that the output formats you have to select all the output formats here and now we'll click apply and one small thing i like to enable the system tray icon that way when i'm playing a video and there are some settings i need to change i can just quickly access the settings from the system tray we we'll hit apply and then okay now i'll move on to the audio decoder this is where you can set up your bit streaming if you are streaming to a separate audio decoder or something like a receiver or something you can set the bit streaming out here but i am decoding on the audio on my mother motherboard sound card so i'll be decoding here and it is also mostly preset i'll enable the system tray icon and since I have a 5.1 system, so I'll need to enable the 5.1 channel here. And I usually don't like mixing on my output, so I'll disable the mixing. One thing to note that if you disable mixing like I did here, the output speaker configuration doesn't matter anymore. The output channel configuration becomes the same as the input channel configuration and gets handled by your sound card later in the audio channel. I also don't want to mix the stereo sources, I want to keep them stereo and that's about it. Also select all the audio formats you want to decode through this decoder here. I'll add Windows Media Audio, hit apply and ok. Now that we are done selecting all the filters, you can hit apply and click ok. That's it for the first part. In the second part, I'll show how to do a basic configuration of Madveer.